Hey guys, oh my gosh, so today I'm so excited. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing. This is my Foxy Thick Sugar Coconut. And I feel like I've been waiting for this forever. As you guys I'm sure know, if you guys have ordered from Foxy Fix, it does seem to take forever. Um, and of course, when you're so excited, it takes even longer than it seems. Um, but I must say, they shipped this to me, I think, because I don't think I was supposed to get this if, if I waited the full 30 days till February 9th, I think. Um, so, and I, I got this on Saturday, which was, I believe, the 20th. So, I got this quite a bit early, so I was so shocked when I got that email that my Foxy Fix was out for delivery. I was so excited. Um, so yeah, I just want to do an unboxing of this um, Foxy Fix, so let's just jump into the video. Okay. So, here it is. All the fun, whatever you call this. So this is the leather sample I got. Um, one thing I noticed, because I've always wondered why they don't do this, on this sample it actually says what this leather is. I've noticed on um, the one Foxy that I've ordered, it doesn't say, and then in all the YouTube videos, people are always you know, saying, I think this is this leather. Um, if you know, comment down below. So I've always wondered why Foxy Fix doesn't just stamp in the name of the actual leather, that way you know. Um, and this time they did, and I don't know if it's maybe just for this leather or what, but I think that's very smart. That way we're not all wondering what leather it is. So yeah, there's that. This is the Spice Juniper Leather, which I'm not a huge fan of. I, it's just way too bright of a color for me, but it's super soft and cool feeling. Of course, you get your business card here. Okay, let's get into the good stuff. So I'm going to take this out and get this box out of our way here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this. I've wanted the sugar coconut, I feel like, for so long. It's just so pretty. I love, love, love the white. Oh my gosh, look at it. So beautiful. So again, this is the sugar coconut. I got the um, B6, the number five size, and I got all white elastic and all white stitching. And then I got the rose gold fox and pit bow, and I got the personalized um, letter K because my name's Christy. So got that personalized. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I the only foxy I have right now is the Boss Babe um, Scarlet, and I really like that. But I like this leather way better. It's it's just a lot more pliable and soft. The the Boss Babe Scarlet, or just any of the Boss Babes, I should say, are a lot more sturdy. Um, I mean, this does sit up on its own, but they're, the boss bed's a lot thicker. If I had it next to me, I would show you guys the difference here. Um, but yeah, this is so much, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't say better. It's just personal opinion. I just really like the sugar leather. It's awesome. So if you guys don't know, if you're not familiar with Foxy, sugar is the actual type of leather. And then Boss Babe is a type of leather as, as well. So when I'm saying sugar and Boss Babe, that's what I mean. It's just a type of leather. And the sugar is just a lot more pliable and soft. And then the Boss Babe is just a lot more sturdy and I think a little bit thicker than this. So there's the thickness of that right there. Okay. So I did notice on this that my pockets are wrong. Let me look at my order here. So I just looked at my order and I don't know what I did, but I obviously when I ordered I got too excited and I didn't pay close enough attention. I um, wanted these to be switched essentially. So if you're not familiar, this is a secretarial, secretarial pocket with a card pocket. And I wanted mine to be this side have the card pocket and this side not. So essentially the when you first open it, the front pocket, which is on the left, I wanted that to have the card pocket and the back pocket on the right to not have the card pocket. I think in my head when I was thinking of what I wanted to do, I was thinking right is just the first pocket for whatever reason. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I guess I might email Foxy and see what they can do. I don't know if maybe I could send it in and they could just sew on a card pocket. I don't know if it would ruin the stitching or how that would work. Um, but I'm wondering if they could do that. I don't even know if they would since it obviously was my fault since on the order it does say this is how I wanted it even though I wanted them flip-flopped. 
Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, but again, it was my, totally my fault. Um, but I still love this. I mean, even if they can't fix it, that's okay. I'll come up with ways to decorate over here. That's the main reason that I want this card pocket is just for my setups. I have some form of decoration in the front. I don't feel like I really need much decoration in the back because I don't spend a ton of time in my back part of my Foxy. Um, but again, I can come up with creative ways and hey, it'll make me get a little creative. So that's okay if they don't fix it. I still am so in love with this. I think it's just so, so beautiful. Um, I cannot wait to set this thing up. I'm probably going to go and set it up right now, actually, because it is the weekend and I got time. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or if you feel like you want me to go into a more in-depth video on the Foxy Fix um, Traveler's Notebooks, I can totally do that. Just comment down below and let me know. I bought my first Foxy. Um, I did a ton of research and... Um, I mainly looked up videos on YouTube and watched unboxings and just tried to pay attention to the different leathers and all that to see what I um, wanted. And then some people I think are really intimidated by Traveler's Notebooks. I know I was. They, they can seem very overwhelming. There's so much stuff that goes into them. But once you kind of break it down, it's so, so simple um, and it's so customizable. That's what I love about it. I typically, um, the last probably two or three years have been using the happy planners and I do like those they're very simple and they're sturdy and you know easy to take with you but I just I love the customization that you can do in the Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebooks and carrying this just piece of leather with you I don't know it just feels so special and um, it's it, you know depending on what size you get it's nice and compact and yeah I just I love Traveler's Notebooks I'm such a huge fan now and again, I just love the Foxy Fix leathers. So if you want a more in-depth on any of that, just let me know. I think I might try and film. I'm definitely going to film a flip through of my setup that I put in here. But if you want me to do a um, more in-depth of how I set up, film exactly like the process I go through, comment down below and let me know. I might try and do that. I've never done it before, so it might be kind of hard um, to get everything on camera, but I'm willing to try for you guys. So just let me know if that's what you would prefer, or if you prefer just a flip through. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget, I will link my Instagram down below where I put pictures of everything. So go and friend me on Instagram. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.